House of 3000. We're here with the Xeno Weekly. Gonna see uh, Killer vs. Vivi, it looks like, a PS2. So, the thing about this matchup, right, is that Mega Man, uh, sort of a Mega Man of attrition, uh, a lot of projectile game at the mid-range, which Lucario can get in very fast, especially at low percent, you'll see right here, he'll get a lot of conversions for decent damage, and as his rage and aura builds up, he's then gonna start go for projectiles, Vivi especially is really fond of, uh, aura sphere canceling, he'll, say, wave bounce it, try to play around the mid-range, but that mid-range is where King Ark and Mega Man in general sort of wants to play, so this will be interesting how it turns out in the later percents. But right now we're just going to see some conversions, mostly from Vivi right now. He's been doing really good in the neutral here. All right, does a real good job uh, auto-canceling the Nair there to get out of harm's way before he can get grabbed. Going a little aggressive on there. He doesn't want to give King Arc too much space, but Dutch let up the whole stage to him. All right, good punish. Pushes him to the edge of the stage. Not threatening too much. Vivi doesn't commit too heavy. So you'll see a lot of that, like, he'll threaten Mega Man's range with things like Aura Sphere, especially because now he's charged up a little bit more in Rage. He'll go for uh, Empty Hop back here, so things like that. Late counter actually still going to eat the percentage off of the Crash Bomber. Up. Uh, that. Okay, that Crash Bomber is reaching out. Um, so now King Arc playing on the back foot, trying to work with what stage he has. Gets back on control. Using Metal Blade. Oh, that's dicey. Shield pressure. No kill yet. So this will be really important. If King Art can manage to survive and get the first stock, uh, any extra credit he can put towards Vivi's next stock will be big. If Vivi can get this first and he can sit on that percent lead, he's very good at delaying his death and getting a little bit extra damage on it. So we'll see what they can do here. A lot of heavy hitters with Aura Sphere coming out here. Sort of just fielding them. Just send them all down, really. All right. Nice. That'll do it. All right, so King Ark at a little bit of advantage now. Um, Vivi's not going to be able to work with a lot of combos, but one straight hit will probably take out King Ark's stock. Right. Chasing down. King Ark getting back. Oh, reset with single pellet and chases down the air dodge after that. That was really smart. All right, so he gets... Yo, that metal blade didn't hit. That, like, went right past his head tails. Or I don't know what you would call those dreads. Chasing him off with a dash attack, 29% is not a whole lot of percentage to sit on, especially because he's still in range, uh, King Arc that is, for the Lucario low percent combos. So we'll see if he can make that work. King Arc trying to space out at mid-range, making sure that BB doesn't get in for free, and if he does, he's going to be with a little bit extra percent, a little bit extra aura. Um, if Lucario has a higher aura, see, he can still chase here, but rather than going for the two fares there, he goes for one fair and an up air to chase. He has to change up his combo routes as his aura and rage increases. All right, nice cover with the Nair. Nair also very safe on shield. Uh, I don't know if it auto cancels. Actually, Devin, would you know that about What's Nair? What, who's um, Nair? Lucario's Nair. I'm pretty sure it's one of the safest moves in the game, yeah? I... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I don't want to talk out of my ass. I know that it like wasn't great in Smash Four, but I don't. I th it looks like it got some nice changes, but I'm not. I, I I can't speak with any authority on that. Yeah. Same here. So I won't try to. I will say we're seeing uh, VV use it quite a lot here. You'll see him land with it, and then usually follow up with some sort of retreating aerial, uh, sometimes retreating aura sphere. So it seems like he's making good use of it. He actually ducked out of uh, one of King Ark's throws with that before. All right. Chasing him with the Metal Blade, and then chooses to do nothing. Waiting out and trying to see what Vivi will do. Trying to see if he can crack under pressure. King Ark kind of going for a little bit of a uh, predictive spot dodge there. <laughs> <laughs> Just run into What was he reading? The roll in, I guess, but he was looking for something. All right, yeah, so I'm being told it is very good, actually. It's like yeah. minus two to zero on hit. Yeah, that's... Pretty fantastic, honestly. Yeah. Uh, whoa, did he jump? I feel like he jumped. I don't feel like that should have killed him, but then again, I, I don't know. I don't play this anyway. All right, so we see the two fares. See, that, like, two fares to Nair conversion is normally what we'll see from Vivi at low percents like this. So I wonder at what percent it would start to become uh, unfeasible for him to do. But it seems more affected by Lucario's percent than by King Arc's per se. Metal Blade canceling out Aura Sphere, trying to space out with back air, but doesn't actually get to get the space he needs before DB's got a hitbox coming his way. 
Chasing with up air, but only doing one. He's done that. That's the second time he's done that single pellet reset. He's looking for an air dodge or something, and I'm not entirely sure if that's because uh, Mega Man's aerial lemons sort of don't always combo, or if he's just looking for a panic option that's being buffered, but he's scoping it out, and Vivi wasn't fighting this time around. So this is where it gets a little bit scarier. Anything you do to VV now is just going to make him more deadly. 81% is still not crazy as far as aura and rage goes, but stray hits are going to be a lot scarier to tank at this point, especially when you're at the ledge of 109%. Oh, good chase. That was really good. All right, crawling back. A little bit of a bounce there so VV doesn't get to set up off the ledge. Kind of tossing out Metal Blades. He actually tossed that Metal Blade back to allow himself some space. He doesn't want to put himself in that Lucario mid-range where he could be hit by a wave bounce and then end up getting uh, blasted for his stock. All right, tries to go for the ledge there. He's doing a lot of tick setups with that uh, with the lemons. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, that hits below ledge. Oof. That was really well played, though. See, I feel like the big part of that was... Because it's scary, right? You know, Lucario is there, and he's got a bunch of aura. He's got a bunch of rage. He's like an angry raccoon, right? And he's 10 feet away from you, and you don't want to be near that guy. You don't know what he's got, what problems he has going on, and he's going to maul the hell out of you. So he wanted to stay at ledge and score spear, which happens. But honestly, that was still pretty well played. I think King Ark's got the right idea in that he just doesn't want to engage Vivi. It's sort of a game of patience at the mid-range, which is odd because that's where Mega Man plays neutral and footsies in general anyway. Um, but the moment, making it work right now, going back to game two, still on PS2. All right, so that's a really good follow-up right there. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, Leaf Shield, when you land on the opponent with it, um, if you release it on their shield, it's a really easy punish, but it's sort of a delay in that the hitboxes are still out there, so if you drop shield early, you get hit by it. Uh, if somebody jumps away with leaf shield, you can get out of shield a lot earlier and chase them, and they still have to toss the shield, so it's a punish opportunity, and you'll see VV chase on that one, which is really smart. That's, um, that's a really big deal for the matchup, frankly. If you're not too used to punishing leaf shield, then Mega Man sort of gets to land on your shield for free all the time. All right, that was a really good chase. I don't know if he had a jump on that one. All right, leaf shield for some space. Crash Bomber, sort of just spacing out with projectiles right now. He's trying to take advantage of the lead that he's got, which is what he needs to do, frankly. All right, not a bad counter. Hard to punish that. All right, spacing out with pellets. Leaf shield actually going right over. I don't know if the hitbox is taken away from that when he gets hit out of it, but no effect. Playing over from ledge, looking really familiar. Okay. Yeah, Vivi is very good at, very slowly, mind you, but making you feel pressured and like, oh, Vivi's just, just free bouncing there menacingly. What's he gonna do? And he makes it very obvious that all of his options are available to him, but he doesn't do them unless he feels he has to. So he's very good at pressuring in offstage and near ledge situations like this, where it feels like you have to hold a hundred options that cover everything at once. Uh, Air dodge into the ledge, though. That was a really weird call. I guess he was looking for a metal blade to catch, maybe? But sort of gives up his pressure on that one. All right, the lemons into the tech chase. Waits for the counter. All right, good job by landing. Makes it a little bit difficult for King Ark to chase. All right, nice, good cross under. Wait, not the ledge now. Try hard read on the back, uh, not the back air. The hard read on the jump with the back air. Uh, no dice though, now he's gotta find his way back against BB. Threatening the Aura Sphere, that'll do it on neutral get up. I think you can do that on reaction actually. Neutral get ups in this game are usually reactable. All right, yo, nice leaf shield. I was looking for the chase there, and it looks like he, uh, King Ark was looking for one too, but no dice. All right. A little heavy out there to get the Metal Blade and the Lemons off stage. But he does need to make something happen here. All right, that'll... See, that was a really good conversion. It would've been even better if killed, but it was still a really good. All right, Crash Bomber's in play. All right, nice. So Crash Bomber at that percent, uh, wouldn't kill, but it would give a lot of stage control. Um, that's a pretty bread and butter thing right there, is hitting aerial uh, metal blade into grab. But 
having that Crash Bomber there uh, puts a little bit of pressure on your opponent. Oh, I got a shield, I got to do something, or I'm going to lose all my stage control to this guy. And uh, King Arc takes it by just going in for the up smash. He's ready to capitalize, he's not going to wait. Single jab. Okay, pivot grab. Ooh, good patience. That, I don't want to say that would have killed him. He doesn't have a whole lot of aura, and he doesn't have any rage yet, but that would have hurt. Nice. Decent use of Metal Blades there. A little bit risky, because if he whiffs one of these, he's wide open to a punish. But he's making it work. Catches it from VB, but then actually gives up the stage control there. <laughs> King, Ark has, King Ark has time to check which side. He even did a little look around like, eh. Which side is VB on? What side is the punish? There it is. That was good. Things looking very scary now. Or Spirit, lethal percent, just misses the meaty on the neutral get up. All right. Chooses to opt out, doesn't want to go for anything risky there, which is probably a decent move. Having to dodge a lot of these aura spheres now. Uh, he's gonna field these down. And really, he only. <gasps> oh, he bet it all! He bet it all! No! Oh. Well, sometimes you do need to come out of left field.